Hello everyone, or should I say Happy Father's Day. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. We are talking about a big birthday haul that I've done. Let's get right into it. All right, you all, I, I, I did a thing. And <laughs> as you can see, let me get into it because I'm super excited to show you so I can start wearing them. So you would think I would learn my lesson by my addiction to Trader Joe's to never ever join another Facebook group. But a few months ago, I joined the Black Female Sneakerheads group on Facebook and I have been influenced. I see the things that women post and they've been posting some amazing um, sneakers and how they style them. And this pair right here, I was influenced to buy. I went on the hunt to find it on sale, of course. Um, this one is the Nike Zoom Vomero 5. I'm sure you've heard of these before, and if not, today is the day. I, I've been looking for a pair of yellow sneakers, I think I shared that with you all before, and landed on a pair of yellow Vomero 5. These are, I think the original price on here might be $160. Let's see if I even have it. Um, the original price on these is $160 and I ended up getting them for $108, um, which still fairly expensive when it comes to shoes, of course, but I think in comparison $108 to uh, the $160 price, I got something off and I intended to buy them anyway, so I think it was a great deal. I put these on, I tried them on and they fit like a dream. So now I'm worried. I'm gonna be on the hunt for more of these on sale because they fit so comfortably. I can't really even explain um, just how comfortable they are. But look at that, yellow and it's perfect and it's comfortable and I'm not worried too much about getting them dirty. Let's get on to the next pair. All right, the next pair should be no surprise because I've been going down this path of finding green things. I've been looking for green sneakers and I landed on a pair of Air Force. This is the Air Force 107 LX. And maybe you've seen these before, maybe not, but I absolutely love, 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 love this pair. Um, all green, of course, but that, um, this gator skin kind of um, snake skin slash gator skin. I don't know what the difference between the two are, but that detail in the green leather there is awesome. I tried these on, these fit well. I get, got these in a size six and a half. And then the other thing I like about these is the fact that it has the uh, trim of the gum sole here. Really, really nice um, pair. The original price on this one was 120 and oh no, sorry was 130, 135, and I got these for um, 78. The next one is the most unique pair of the three, and I've been eyeballing this for a really long time. Originally, I started looking at this on ssense.com, and I think the cheapest I was able to find it there was 100, it was like the low 100s, maybe like 108 or something like, I can't remember the exact number. But this one is the, Air, um, the Nike Air Footscape Woven is what, it, what it's called. And what makes it so unique is that it is a pair of woven sneakers. It's in black and in gray. But if you can see up close, this is actually calf hair. <laughs> yes, calf hair on a pair of sneakers. I put these on, they're super, super comfy. If you can see how the, sh the shape of the toe is, it allows a lot of room for the toes to expand. And the, this um, woven bit of it, it give, has a lot of give. So it's really comfortable. It has the, enough you know, structure. It has a, like, this is like a cloud-like, foamy um, sole here, super comfortable. A lot of room for the toes, et cetera, et cetera. And I just love how you unique this woven design is and this um, the laces being on an angle I just love everything about it I've been eyeballing it for a while and I cannot remember how much I paid for it but I ended up getting it from Nordstrom they have a designer sale going on and I think it might still be going on right now and this landed in that sale and I got it for a really good price so if I have the wherewithal I'll put on the screen for every of everything that I've talked about the original price plus the sale price that I got because um, uh, I always find little extra discounts and the, of course the free shipping. None of this I paid for shipping for. I never pay for shipping, um, but I'll put on the screen so you know where to go if you're interested in any of these sneakers or something else because the deals are just that good. Next items are from Amazon actually. I, before I did this video, I had on a shirt that I really, really love. It's a high-low shirt from Urban Outfitters. It's like a gauzy material, distressed. Um, uh, the hems are a bit unfinished. I absolutely love that shirt. It's so, so comfortable. And I saw an influencer talk about a shirt that looked similar 
from it that um, free people sales then she talked about the fact that they had similar shirts at Amazon so I have a dupe of the dupe of the dupe <laughs> and I went to Amazon to find it so I picked these up and I'm really really hoping that they are similar um, I got a small in these and I got them in three colors the third color just haven't made it here yet um, this one it isn't exactly what I was thinking but it is a super super boxy slouchy kind of a t-shirt so when I wear it it'll probably hang a bit like this because you know um, but I, I like it it was a fraction of the price that I pay for my Urban Outfitters shirt is a fraction of the price what you'll find at um, free people and the material is a lot more like a t-shirt It's a lot more comfortable so I'm not mad at it you know I think it was worth the buy and um, in my obsessive fashion um, because I thought I would love it I got it in multiple colors so this one is in the black I got this in the gray colorway and I have a third one coming in that's navy blue and I stuck to basics because um, I that's how I would normally wear them I would style them with jeans or something really simple and basic at the bottom and just a little fun uh, top that's still pretty basic what we call elevated basics because it just looks slightly different um, so that was what I got there and for the last thing I'm super excited about I picked up something from the 260 sample sale right here in Chicago I've told you about this place a million and one times so if you're near one that is either in uh, there's a few locations in New York I think there are three in New York one in Miami one in LA and one in Chicago which is the newest one um, they sell like designers samples or overstock or however they get their hands on them but really nice pieces for a fraction of the price and of course they're speaking my language so this one okay it's still a bit pricey I'm gonna be honest with you still a bit pricey but I bought it as my birthday dress I'm gonna be wearing this for my birthday because I just like to be extra on my birthday I usually wear like a birthday button or something as a birthday girl I do the most this one was originally $400. Um, this dress here is hard to it's hard to see. Hopefully I can do a cutaway for you so you can kind of get a feel for it. It's like a raspberry and fuchsia kind of a color mixed. And I thought it was very statementy, but also just, you know, very realistic. Something I could wear um, over and over again and it does not seem, you know, been there, done that, played out. Um, so I think I'll get my wear out of it. But the original price, like I said, 400 bucks from the brand Rebecca Taylor and I ended up getting it for $88. So again, like I said, for a dress, fairly expensive of course, but again, birthday dress, <laughs> gotta do the most. Um, and that's that. So I think it's super cute. Hopefully I'm able to uh, do a cutaway so you can see it because it's hard for me to hold this up and show you like what made it so special for me. All right, you all, that brings us to the end. Oh, let the birthday haul shenanigans continue. Come back. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you like these types of videos, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button. Leave me comments if you have questions about anything. And most importantly, share it with your friends. Don't hoard me. I feel like you guys are friends for a reason. If they liked it, I mean, if you liked it, <laughs> they'd like it too. Bye.